Hey, what's up? This is the first official installment of Allow Me with Rufio Jones. I am him. I'm the guy whose name I just said. And said first official because I did a video before where I tried the Jolly Rancher uh, Pop-Tarts. Um, but it wasn't, like, official. This is, like, the real thing. So I'm going to do a couple of these to see if you guys like it. To see if you want me to try some other things. And then we'll go from there. Right now, I'm going to try a new product. And full disclosure... Um, I don't drink very much pop, if any at all, like most I might drink in the course of a year is maybe like two bottles, right? But when I did, I was a big Pepsi guy. Now, with me I have Pepsi Fire. I said what I said before because uh, just based off of appreciating Pepsi more than Coke, I might like this more than some of you all would that uh, are Coke heads. Um, so what I'm going to do is... Pop this pop open. See what I did right there? I'm going to pop this pop open. See what it tastes like. Um, all of this is happening right now. See if it's uh, worth trying. Here we go. You hear that? That was real fresh. Okay. Well, it doesn't have a weird smell. Um, and just at the, the look of it, it's like a very dark cherry color. Um, but clearly it's not that in here. I'm guessing it's going to taste like cinnamon. Let's go. Um, for the most, oh, there it is. Okay, so right out the gate, all I could taste was Pepsi. It's like, where, where's the fire? Then when I finished drinking the actual pop, there was a bit of cinnamon that just kind of like stayed there. So I drank it, the pop disappeared, the cinnamon stuck around. So I do taste it. I'm going to do this one more time. Yep. So it almost it almost tastes like I drank the Pepsi and then immediately chewed some cinnamon bubble gum. Um, it's weird. It's not nasty at all. Again, like I'm a, I'm a fan of Pepsi. I always have been. So I would definitely drink Pepsi Fire again. And I'm actually really considering uh using this for a float like maybe putting uh putting this in a glass throwing a, a scoop of ice cream in it and seeing what's happening i might even do that and then tell you about it all that being said uh it's pretty good uh if you have a hankering <laughs> for some pepsi and want to do something different i would say go for it uh and if you don't well, go on about your life I'll uh, be back quite possibly with Pepsi Fire Float. If not, just assume that it went okay. I'll let you in a minute. All right, I'm back. Uh, I feel like I talked too much about it to not have actually made a float. So I got the glass full of ice cream. Got the Pepsi Fire. Let's see what's happening. Uh, so, yeah, I was right. It does have a real red hue to it. That's something. And I'm going to let this uh, <laughs> coagulate, if you will. Um, and while I do that, yeah, I feel, like, I feel like the term fire, after like really thinking about it, is a bit much. Because the cinnamon is very faint and you only get it after you've like finished the pop off. But that's fine. Um, I just wanted to say my little problem with it. We're going to get to this. Now that, the foam is actually way cinnamonier, cin cinnamonier, there we go, even though that's not a word, way cinnamonier than it was when I just drank it normally, that's pretty cool. Um, so I'm saying if you get the fire, then you might want to try it as a uh, shake, maybe a float, something, blend it, who knows. Now, for real, see you later.